In this video, we're going to look into scaling, which uh, is another method of pre-processing for machine learning. So when you're working with raw data sets, it often is that features are at different levels of magnitude. That is, they are at different scales. And when you train algorithms like support vector machines or neural networks, which are sensitive to the scaling of the data, these algorithms might not perform correctly. That's one of the cases when you'd have to scale your data so that you can properly train your algorithm. Now, there are a few methods to do this kind of pre-processing in scikit-learn. You have the standard scaler, uh, which brings each feature to a mean of zero and a variance of one. Then there's the min-max scaler, which shifts the data into a zero to one range. And there is also the normalizer, which adjusts data in a way in which each feature vector has a Euclidean length of one. Now here we're going to look into the min-max scalar, which, as I said, brings each feature into a zero to one range. Now for convenience, we're going to use uh, the same dummy data set that we've created in our previous uh, few tutorials. As a reminder, let's see how it looks like. So um, we can see that it's not in a zero to one range, which is what we want to achieve with our scalar. So the first thing we're going to do is to instantiate the scalar. So let's say minmax scalar is uh, pre-processing minmax scalar and a feature range of zero to one. Uh, and then we're going to apply it to our data. So data minmax is minmax scalar. And we're going to use the fit transform method onto our data. Um, and then we're simply going to look at the output. So let's say print minmax scalar applied on the data, new line, data minmax. Now shift enter to run this. All right, so um, as you can see, each feature has been brought into a zero to one range, uh, making the maximum initial value uh, equal to one for each row and the rest of the values which are relative to it. And as I said previously, this is really important for correctly uh, training some machine learning algorithms which are sensitive to the scaling of the data. Now, in our next tutorial, we're going to look at another method of pre-processing. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. Thank you for watching.